Hi guys, Miss Venable here, bringing you a demonstration today of the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide using a catalyst. So hydrogen peroxide is a pretty common chemical. Most people have that in their medicine cabinet, but you may not know that hydrogen peroxide will naturally decompose over time. Once you break the seal of your bottle, it only has a usable shelf life of about six months. And that's because it decomposes on its own. It pulls energy out of the environment in order to do that. So this H2O2 is our hydrogen peroxide. And if you break your seal and it's exposed, then it's gonna break down into water, which is a liquid, and it's gonna break down into oxygen, which is of course a gas. Now, there is a quicker way to decompose your hydrogen peroxide, and that is to use a catalyst. A catalyst is going to speed up the rate of the chemical reaction by providing a different pathway. And in the end, you get your catalyst back, and you can reuse it again and again. The catalyst we're going to use in this example is manganese 4 oxide, or sometimes it's called manganese dioxide. And so we're going to write our catalyst over the top of our arrow. That's where you always want to show a catalyst because it doesn't end up as one of the products and it really is only a temporarily one of the reactants. Now a lot of reaction pathways have lots of intermediate steps. This one has about 14 intermediate steps. So we're going to skip that part and we're just going to say our products are water and oxygen. Now this equation is not balanced. So I am gonna have to go back and balance the oxygens. It looks like two on the left, and I've got three on the right. So let's see if I can put a two there, and that will make four oxygens on the right-hand side. And I can go back and add a two in front of my hydrogen peroxide, and that will make four oxygens on the left-hand side. And it will also balance my hydrogens. Two times two is four, and two times two is four. So we have to make sure our equation is always balanced. Alrighty, let's get started. In my Erlenmeyer flask here, I'm going to add some hydrogen peroxide, and this is this is 30% hydrogen peroxide. This is a, a little bit more concentrated than what you would buy um, in your your regular pharmacy. Usually, it's it's 3%, um, but this it comes from a specialty store. And this is my manganese dioxide catalyst. And if I just left this here open to the air like this, um, it would probably take about, about 30 days to, to 50 days, and it would decompose, and all I would have left in here would be uh, the water. So even if my water didn't evaporate away, um, I would no longer have hydrogen peroxide. It will eventually decompose into water. So let's take a look at what adding the manganese dioxide does. Now manganese dioxide is a black, black powder, and I'm just going to drop that in there. Kind of like a genie in the bottle, isn't it? Chemistry is amazing. Now you can see all this vapor that's coming up here. Um, that's actually, this is very warm. This, this reaction is incredibly exothermic, um, so I'm not going to touch that. But this is actually, it's boiling. You can see it's rolling in here. And this is actually water vapor as it's boiling away and it's carrying the oxygen out of it. Now, just for fun, I wanna show you guys that um, this really does have oxygen gas being produced. Calm down just a little bit and we are gonna test for the presence of that oxygen gas. And this is another one of the flame tests. So here I have a burning wood splint. I'm gonna get that nice and burning. And to test for oxygen gas, I'm actually gonna put it out. So let's put it out. I want some embers there, but it's pretty much out. And if I put it back in, it relights. Now blow it out. Again, just some burning embers there. Put it in and it relights. Blow it out, put it in and it relights. So that's a test you can do for oxygen gas because of course oxygen gas is part of the fire triangle. So by adding a little oxygen to this smoldering splint, I can reignite that flame. And I could just do this all day. This is just super fun. Chemistry is amazing. 
So oxygen is a flammable gas. It's one of our diatomic molecules. And so in this balloon, um, I have done this chemical reaction and collected the O2 gas that evaporated away. And it's probably got a little steam in there as of course that um, vapor you saw coming out probably with some water molecules as well. But we're gonna see if I got enough pure oxygen in this balloon to combust, just for fun. So here we go with our combustion trial. Of course, when I do big combustion, I don't want I don't want it anywhere near my face. So I am using my very high-tech meter stick here with a match on the end, and I am going to step way back. And I'm gonna hold my balloon over my match. Sure enough, I think that was flammable. So that was a test for the flammability of the oxygen gas that I collected in the balloon. So it's been a couple hours since I decomposed the hydrogen peroxide using the manganese 4 um, oxide. I just want to point out that you don't actually react the catalyst with the other things. Temporarily you do, but in the end you get your catalyst back. So I took my end products, which look like this kind of a black aqueous looking solution. And it looks like it's got some solid little pieces of black flex in there. And I actually filtered it. So uh, I put filter paper in the filter and I filtered it through. And I can see that um, some of the black stuff did come through, but a lot of it is here on my filter paper. So the manganese, and this is, this, just, this is exactly what I had to start with in my catalyst. So I didn't actually chemically react the catalyst with the peroxide. Um, the catalyst just provided a temporary pathway. Now, what did this do? Well, instead of the hydrogen peroxide needing about 415 kilojoules per mole and to decompose, it only needed about 200 kilojoules per mole to decompose. And so that sped up the rate of the chemical reaction. Instead of taking six months for that to decompose, you saw that it did it in just a matter of minutes. This has been Miss Venable, bringing you the catalyzed reaction for the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide. Thanks for joining me. Would you get pure water out of it? No, this is, this is pure water. If you filter out all of the catalysts, you, you have pure water left over. No, really, you do. You don't believe me? Okay, I'll drink it. Ooh. Ooh. Tastes mighty fine to me. Don't try that at home, kids.